Breaking travel news from across the world and across the Middle East. Hello, I'm Phil Blitton, taking a look at a new entry into the exclusive world of private aviation. When it comes to Emirates, I think of the orders for the massive Boeing 777 or the groundbreaking A380 double-decker, but we're going to move from those gigantic aircraft to the smallest in their fleet. And it's not the regular fleet, but the newly established Emirates Executive. This is the first time that we entered this executive jet line. Uh, this is based on the research that we did, which we found that the area, the Middle East Gulf in particular, is a booming market. Um, UAE and Saudi are leading in terms of the growth uh, from the executive line. Uh, plus, we looked at around in terms of Russia, China, India, and we found there is a heavy demand uh, on the executive jet line. That's, that's why I think it was quite a temptation for us to say, let's explore this kind of an, uh, a line and see how, how people will respond to it. This is quite an exclusive sort of water offer that we do. It's higher than a first class sort of product. You have your own private, it's, it's like your own house. Uh, you get uh, luxury product on board in terms of the, the, the suite, it's higher standard of suite. You can have the internet, which is accessible all the time. You have the launch, which is a beautiful launch that you can get for any, any meeting or, or flexibility in terms of the deployment, whatever time you want to fly, whatever time you can, you can come back with it. Uh, the, the luxury, the attention to detail in terms of your own menu uh, selection that you go through, the pickup from home all the way to executive jet terminal. Uh, it's faster to go through the immigration because you don't have to go through the normal channel of, of, the, of the accessibility. So these are all, I think, adding value, I think, to it. And this is the aircraft which is used by Emirates Executive. It's an Airbus A319. And in normal commercial operations, it would carry around 120 passengers. This aircraft, however, is very, very different. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. This aircraft can carry 19 passengers in total. Uh, it has two parts. Uh, the first part is where we're sitting now, which is uh, the launch area. Uh, the launch or majlis, we call it, uh, where it has a seating for 12 passengers. Uh, three of them can be three of the seats that we have here uh, can be converted to a flat bed. Plus the two sofas that, uh, that here, again, can be used as a, as a flat bed as well. Um, we have two TVs of 42 inches, uh, the full-fledged internet system that you can get, uh, live channels of 12 uh, different TVs that you can get while cruising, uh, and plus the second bit which is um, where the, where the uh, suite area, uh, there you have uh, nine bits, uh, flat, completely flat bed with first time we're using the 32-inch uh, TV channel. You can get access to 1,600 uh, eye system of Emirates Airline. Um, so, so in terms of even, I mean, from the system inside, uh, the atmosphere, the LED lightning system in the floor, in the ceiling. Um, so it's quite luxury, I think, and it's way above uh, first class, I think, in terms of the product. Well, the latest technology allows you on the big screen there to watch live television. You could be flying, for example, at 40,000 feet, watching, well, the latest rounds of the World Cup football, for example. This is the forward cabin of this private executive jet, and it's got a few functions. This area behind me could be a majlis for a casual chat. It could be a boardroom for an executive meeting, and this area here for fine dining. And I'm just wondering, what sort of customer would hire this executive jet? Since we started launching uh, this product in 1st September uh, 2013, uh, we had a mix of different type of people. Uh, some of them were families from UAE who wanted to go to Asia. Um, some of them were more of an, a VIP profile, uh, whom again wanted to have small group of people to for different mission. They want to use it. Uh, we had businessmen as well, uh, who again took the flight to Africa. And so I think in terms of the mix, you have different profile of people. You have a more of a higher category of uh, VIPs, uh, rural families could be one of the categories. Uh, the businessmen and small families whom they want to have the full private in terms of uh, the way they travel. One of the impressive luxury suites on board this aircraft, which is really the ultimate in flying. It's aimed at royalty, CEOs, the high flying CEO, of course, and also celebrities. And well, you would probably need a very healthy bank balance with the hourly rate of over 15,000 US dollars per hour flying time. I'm Phil Blizzard for Breaking Travel News, London.